Soy Bays. Welcome back to my channel. It's me. <laughs> you guys, my boobs look so huge because I'm breastfeeding. And I got my little waist trainer on, so just don't mind me. Follow my Instagram asking if you guys are interested in my labor and delivery. Okay, so, I'm sorry. Y'all had to get the camera adjusted to how I like it. We need to start from the beginning. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. You guys already know. So I had my last appointment. It was September 11th. It was like 8 or 9 in the morning. At this point, you guys, I'm overdue. I'm past overdue. I'm 40 weeks and 5... No, 40 weeks and 4 days. Oh my gosh, y'all hear him pooping? 40 weeks and 4 days. Yeah, I'm at my doctor's appointment. She's like, you're still like at a 1 and a half, 2. Just so depressed, y'all. I'm like, are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> Mind you, my other two kids start school that Monday. This was a Friday. So I was hoping that he would be here before then and I could adjust to getting him ready for school, blah, blah, blah. No, this little boy, he did not want to come out. I just knew I was going to go home and be, would have to be induced. At my 40, was it my 40 or my 39 week appointment, she was like, if he doesn't come by 41 weeks, we're going to have to medically induce you. So I'm already thinking, okay. I don't want to get induced, even though I've never been induced before, but I've heard I've heard bad stories. I've heard the Pitocin is crazy and all that. So I ended up talking my midwife into letting them induce me. I had got an ultrasound. They did a non-stress test. He didn't do the practice breathings, which isn't really that serious. It sounds more crazy than what it is. I'm hungry. I'm right here. <laughs> but, yeah. So after I got my ultrasound, long story short, the, the two ultrasound techs were like, yeah, just, you know, go home and get your stuff and come straight to labor and delivery. I'm like, I'm sitting there in shock, like, wait, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Here I am thinking I had to wait till 41 weeks. And bye -bye. And now they're telling me to get my, get my clothes and, and my stuff and go to the hospital. I got on my appointment. I called RJ right away, which is my kid's father. I went home. I took a shower, as y'all saw in the labor and delivery. Um, I took my time, you guys, because that was like 8, 9 o'clock. I didn't get to the hospital till I want to say, 1. So we had to get the kids ready. We had to drive the kids to my parents' house. The hospital that my clinic wanted me to deliver at, um, I didn't want to initially. I wanted to deliver at the hospital. I had my daughter, which was the mother baby center. So we arrived at the mother baby center. Long story short, you guys, they wouldn't induce me because I didn't want to take the corona te coronavirus test. I told them from the jump that I didn't want to take that test. I'm wasting time because the doctor goes, I'll make you a deal. If you take the corona, if you take the test, I'll induce you. And I'm like, well, just give me my discharge papers. I ended up going to um, the hospital where my clinic wanted me to deliver at. They already had my room ready. They wheeled me back. And um, we got settled in. There a few hours before they started the Pitocin because they had to go over the induction with me. And she was talking for so long, telling me, you know, the risk and all that. She put the IV in my hand. Then she started the Pitocin. The Pitocin, it took like, they kept like moving it up and down because there's levels of Pitocin. There's like four, six, eight, ten. You know, it goes up to every unit or whatever. And it took like, I want to say like four, four or five hours for the Pitocin to even like start working. But I noticed like being on it for a few hours, I started losing like a lot of my plug and bleeding. I had to keep getting up constantly because, you know, I'm hooked up to the IV. So I have to constantly push the little, um, what is the thing called that your IV sits on? Every time I have to use the bathroom. And you know when you're pregnant, especially in your nine months, you have to use the bathroom like every 30 minutes. I dilated pretty fast. After I got the Pitocin, um, things started moving quick. I got the epidural like, I wanna say, like six o'clock that morning. I think they started my Pitocin at like 5.36 p.m. So, once I got the epidural, I swear I was like pushing. I was pushing two, like an hour and a half, two hours later. And you guys, I felt so much, like I felt his head literally moving down and Mind you guys, she checked me. I was a four at like, I was a four right before I got the Pitocin. And then, um, I was like, can you check me? I'm like, all calm. I'm like, can you check me? Like, I feel his head down there. 
and you guys i was not expecting for her to be like i was expecting for her to be like oh you're like a six seven this lady told me oh you're nine and a half i was like are you serious mind you guys rj my kid's father he's over there sleeping still and like for some reason i didn't think to be like hey wake up i think i was just in my my mind was in a whole nother i don't know I had half a centimeter left around my cervix and she could like make the baby's head push that out if that makes sense so she was like going around his head and having me push she had me push like three four times to get my to get me dilated to a 10 so that was like 20 30 minutes and then after that i was pushing i did notice a big difference with him pushing him out and my other two kids i'm like a bomb pusher and mind you guys i still pushed him out pretty quick because some people be pushing for four to six hours like i don't know i don't understand i couldn't do that one but they said it was like 20 25 minutes and i felt like i was pushing that felt like for eternity but um with my other two it was 15 and 20 minutes which was like three three four pushes not even but with him i think i pushed I probably did like eight, maybe more pushes. I don't know. But it definitely took a little more oomph, you know. So his head was out. And then all of a sudden I hear like call some doctor or something in the background as I'm pushing. And I'm trying so hard not to panic, right? And it it reminded me of the exact scenario that happened with my older sister called shoulder dystocia my nephew had that birth oh i can't talk um and he ended up passing away and one of the nurses like hopped on top of me it was kind of like pushing my stomach down towards the right to try to get his shoulder dislodged from my pelvis and um i swear it was like i swear it was god talking to me to be calm i knew if i started like freaking out i was gonna like give up and not push i was gonna be crying like like you know just overreacting it was like god telling me to stay calm and then the nurse said can you give me one more push and i pushed with all my might and he came out thank god so i thank god for that he's just staring at me hi papa hi baby and you guys that little them few seconds it might have been minutes but it just seemed like forever and i was so emotional and crying you guys babe was crying it was just such a good feeling. I'm, I still think about how thankful I am that that didn't turn out to something bad. But you guys, yeah, so he was 9 pounds, 1.5 ounces, which makes sense to why he got stuck. Because I'm such a tiny person. So, his name is Zakai. If you, see, if you watch the labor and delivery, then you've seen his name. His full name is Zakai Darnell Dixon. He has... Um, First of all, Zakai means pure and innocent. That's why I love the name. And then he has his um, grandpa's uh, middle name, which is Darnell. Um, our oldest son, Zayden, he has my dad's middle name and he has RJ's dad's middle name. So this is Zakai. Say hi, Papa. Let me show you guys his face because I didn't show you. Papa, look, baby. You're looking at the TV, y'all. Look, Papa. Look, baby. Is this too bright? Are you about to spit up? <laughs> this my baby. Y'all, look at all his hair. Hmm? Is that too bright? <laughs> you guys, he got dimples like my oldest son, too. But it's so hard to get him to show his. I think he will. He did. But anyways, you guys, this that's the end of my story time. Um, my beautiful baby's here. I just love him so much. <laughs> he always laughs when I do that. So you guys, um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you for all the new supporters, all the new subscribers. Hit y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye, Papa. Say bye. Whatever. We out. Peace.